We begin in Stony Creek, where a man is fighting for his life in hospital after witnessing a robbery at a car wash and then being chased down and run over by the suspects. When the owner of Easy Clean Car Wash in Stony Creek showed up at the scene, he couldn't believe his eyes. To come here and witness all this with an ambulance taking away a body, fire trucks on the property, build inspectors telling me my building is, is destroyed. Um, the insurance has already said we may need to take it down. Scott Murray says that around 7 this morning, a suspect driving this stolen utility truck came from across Highway 8 and crashed into his car wash. The big truck behind us was sitting at the TD Bank across the street, and once he got the green light, he came full speed uh, in through my exit, and as you can see, right through my lobby, hit the wall, proceeded to back up and take another run at it. The owner of the business says a man witnessed the suspects driving into the car wash and called police, but then those very same suspects got in a truck and hit that man and then backed up over him again. When the other guys, part of these assailants, were in the pickup truck, saw him, they went after him and chased him down into the Scotia Bank. And then he came running back out onto my property across onto my front lawn where the pickup truck, what appears to be an intentional move, came full tilt backwards and ran him over and then drove forward and ran him over again. Murray says his car wash is destroyed, but he says watching the surveillance video of the witness being hit was heartbreaking. Why would they take this guy out? I mean, this is some serious nonsense going on here. How are they doing? I don't know yet. I heard he was in critical condition um, that he will survive, but he's in. I mean, I saw I saw the impact on my video. This is scary. It was very scary. Hamilton police wouldn't provide many details about the incident, but Murray says he's learned the suspect stole two trucks like this one from a business in Smithville. For what? You know, you know, some change, some loonies and toonies and a change machine. It's absurd. It's it's, it's showing me a sign of desperation out there. I, I don't know if, you know, it's just you know, with other things we've seen in the economy and what's going on, but for people to go to this extent, stealing from one business, vehicles, to do that, uh, you know, for, you know, do something, e there's easier money out there. 